Users, I'm here today to help you out with getting your great smart pen lessons uploaded to the desktop and then onto the internet where you can manipulate and send your lessons anywhere in the world. First thing you want to do is when you get home, you can open up your LiveScribe desk desktop. Excuse me. That is where you have your pen all the information on your pen going to uh, your desktop so you can do things with it. All right, so we'll do that right now. And of course, it's a good time for a Zen update. So we'll pause this from the live scribe desktop begins to load. And this time you can start getting your pen ready to go. You'll take your pen and you'll have your cradle connected to your computer. And this is the LiveScribe desktop. Place the pen down on the cradle. And a couple of things might happen. It might ask you to update your pen. It might ask you uh, to wait while it's transferring content from the smart pen. See that over there? And then you'll hear a great little sound. This is asking me if I want to update my pen. It's a really good idea to keep your pen updated. But for right now, I'm going to uh, just move on. I have a couple of books associated with my pen, so I'll go over here to my um, starter notebook. That's the notebook that you got, right? the very first one you started with. And here's all my notes. Now I took some, I made a lesson, uh, took some notes on clocks. It looks like this. It was all pictures and all discussion. Um, right now, I've uploaded my notes from my pen to my computer at home. Well, that's great, but now I want to get it onto the internet because I'd like to get my notes available on my blog. So, what we do is make sure it's working. Twelve, six, three, and nine. Start filling them in. I can click wherever I want. Too often today. Forty. Forty-five. I'll just pause that. As soon as you have your notes here and you can hear them and you know they work, look up above here. There's two choices that are really important, uploading a page or uploading a session. If you upload a page, you'll upload just the picture of your notes with no audio. That's like good for a printout. But if you'd like to upload the session, that's the notes, uh, the look of the notes and the sounds of the notes, you click on Upload Session. Remember, at this point in time, we cannot do this from school. You have to do this from your home computer. Ask you if you want to upload that session. You click Yes, and you give it a name, and away it goes, up to the Internet. Once it's on the Internet, here's how you can do things with it. You go to the LiveScribe.com website. You go to the Community. That's where you have all the notes. It's the community of people sending notes. And when you first put your pen on your computer at home, you hopefully started an account. If not, you may start the account online. And you go to login. This is where you enter your login information, right? I'll do that now. And lastly, the dot com. Oh, no. Make sure that, type, that you type that correctly. Okay, once you log in to your account, let's try that again. We'll just try that again. Okay, so now we have some success here. Sorry about that. We're logged in successfully, and I'm going to my account on LiveScribe. And here we go. We should now see your uploaded file when we go to your account. So you click on Account, and 
and there's my account. I'm really full. Don't worry, you are you have much more room than they tell you you have. And now we go down and I can find my file. Remember, telling time. I uploaded my file, telling time how to use a clock. It's right here. Uh, I can use it at any point in time. All right. You took notes with your pen and recorded them. Second, you took those notes and put them on your computer. And thirdly, you now uploaded your notes and audio, your session they call it, up to your account. Now it's available anywhere, anytime. How do you get it from here to somewhere else? Well, look over here. You can email it, email your notes to a friend. You can download your notes as a PDF file. You get a link to this file. That's always nice to post on a web page, right? When you click on get a link, it gives you the link. You copy it and paste it. Or you can share it on Facebook. How about this? Uh, lastly, and really importantly, is the embed this file um, choice. Before I tell you that, though, to make your files available to the public, you have to click. When you first upload your file, it shows a little lock sign, and it's a private file. That's meant to keep your notes private until you release them. When you release them, you click on Make Them Public, and now this file is public. You can also choose the category that you want your notes to be in. They could be academic, business, and so on. You can make a description, and so on and so forth. Okay. When you're ready to put things in a blog, you need the embed code to embed this file somewhere else. So you copy it, and we're going to paste it somewhere else. Uh, I'll give you an example of where you can put things. I've made you a blog called the JC Smart Pen Lessons blog, and every one of you who has a pen right now has a teacher file, so I could go over to um, any one of the teachers. All right. Here's the Smart Pen page. When you look up teachers, I could go down to uh, anyone's, and I would find, hopefully, your lessons. Look at who's who's uploaded right now. So far, I know that Mrs. Kazmark has done that. On this blog page, she's uploaded some student examples. We can listen to them right here on the page. Not get to it. You should be following along and writing it down now. Because I will be coming around and giving a grade on this before you. I'll pause that. We also want to watch that in full screen on the blog. Now we can listen to it. You guys want to recess? You'll leave it on your desk open, and I will check it. Mm -hmm. Dollars in the trouble bubble. I put seventy-three dollars in there. Then that's really quite nice. Uh, your notes uploaded to the computer can be put on a blog anywhere you'd like. Don't forget, you can also email them to a friend. You can download them, get a link to them, post them on Facebook. Tons of ways to share your great teaching. Hopefully, this was very helpful to you. Uh, don't forget, use your pen just like you would any other writing device, but record what you're doing and save your great teaching. We'll talk to you next time with some other tips on how to use your smart pen. See you later.